Herb better not tell anybody who he is when he rock, walks into a restaurant, Jay. He better not tell anyone. I'm just getting this scoop because I'm I'm in the conference room and I can't really hear uh, what's going on because we don't have speakers all over the place. But I'm in the conference room watching the Hawks get there. You know that you know what pushed in. Yep. And I walk in here and. And I hear Herbie says that he doesn't like to tip, and Brendan say that he only wants to tip 7%. Which is a fallacy. What is going on here? I tip. Do you ever tip? Do you ever tip? Listen to what I've said, people out there in Radio Land. I tip. Remember, you're only talking to one person. I do not like tipping. I do not care if they make minimum wage. They make less than minimum wage, Congratulations to you. Get a different job. <laughs> wow. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Herb's a jerk. Yeah, right, these right. people make minimum wage. Whatever. I got you. Congratulations. It's Hater Wednesday. Now, now, wait, wait. Now, of the five of us, I'm not going to include Zach because Zach never complains. But of the five of us. About that, what? what? <laughs> of the five of us that are looking at each other right now. Which one of us five does the most bitching about what he gets paid? The man right there yeah. in the middle. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's, so, this is true. This so is wait, true. while you're telling the people in the service industry to get a, <laughs> get better, a better job. job. <laughs> right. Right. It's I'm true. just saying. It's true, Herbie. I got a great job. You're going to piss people <laughs> off, Herb. Like now for the rest of the night, people are going to be calling great. and texting the rest of them to, to my show talking about I should you know, be mad at you. I'm not mad at you, Herb. Hey, you feel how you feel. He I keeps know, it real. I, I tip more than I should because of people like Herb, you know, who. who yeah, I know. And I know when I. Exactly. I and know, I walk into the restaurant. We, we all feel and I that get shame. And right, I put my hand up at the, outside of that cab. I know that cab. He's like, hey, I'm going to pass him up. He's not going to tip me. But I do. It's a $10 ride. I give him 15 You know, And what? I'm furious. You know what, though? I, I will tell you my policy on tipping cab drivers. You start out with, I will tip you whatever the nearest dollar and another dollar is. Okay. So that's, that's my style. So if it's five eighty five on the ride, I'm going to give you seven, seven bucks. Okay. Okay. But it goes down. As soon as I step in the cab, one, smell. Two, time that you take to get me wherever I get. Because I go to the same place. I take a cab every day to work. So I know it's about an $8 cab ride. Whereas... You know, some guys get you there nine, ten dollars. So I understand the cab part of it, but when you're talking about food, there's a lot of things that go into that. And you know, if service is bad, like for instance, had bad service the other day. But even when service is bad, I feel bad about tipping poorly because they're gonna think to themselves, "I didn't do a bad job. It was just a brother who didn't want to tip." Yeah, you know, I feel that. I feel that responsibility. You too, know what I'm saying? So I, 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 I start off at 17, 18 percent. I go 20 if you're doing really good. I'll go. I'll go. 30 if it's great service. Well, unless I'm at the strip club, I'm not going That's 30. different. Then you just get the, you pull the Nelly thing, you get the credit card, and you just. By the way, these black strippers out there need to stop acting like, because they see me in there, they can give me a half ass dance. Damn it. See? Work as hard as the white women do in the strip club. Hater Wednesdays. Just saying. That's what I'm hating on. It continues. Man, the cabbie already gives you that dollar extra for the gas surcharge. Yeah. Man, I had, I had last week when I didn't have my car, I left out of here. And I think Jay was on, so I left a little late, so I wasn't going to make my train. So I was like, all right, I'm going to take a cab home. Mm -hmm. I go out there, there's a cab. You know, there's cabs all around here. Right. I walk out of there, and I get in the cab. and guys, 17 bucks, it should be back to your house. Well, I said, he said, where are you going? I was like, I'm going to Hyde Park. And he was like, no, no, I'm not going that direction. (laughs) What do you mean you're not going in that direction? You're going in whatever direction I told you to go in. (laughs) Luckily, this African brother pulled up, Mm -hmm. and he brought me in. It was all good, and I tipped him big. And he was so happy. Right. Because I'm like you. I go up to the nearest five. Yeah. So in, in that same scenario that you painted. The, the longer if it was, ride. Yeah. If, oh, oh, don't get me wrong. If I got a $25 ride, I'm not going to give a guy $27. You totally tell, give him 27 that, No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no, no. Don't get me wrong. But if it's under under 10 bucks, I'm going to hit you with you know the, the nearest dollar plus a dollar. But if it's over 15 or so, I'll hit you with three. Yeah. And I'll he, was, three he was happy. And I was glad that I gave my money to someone who actually cared. Right. So, But, but I, I, do, I do understand the response. Responsibility of, hey, people are. It's a stereotype that that black yeah. people, particularly black men, black men, don't tip well. Right. So I I try to go above and beyond when given the opportunity. But if I have bad service, 
I will tell you about yourself. See, and I will tell your manager about yourself, too. And that's the thing. I have a hard time telling service people they did a bad job. I'll, I'll tell you by the way I'm asking for things. Because if, if after a while you get the, is everything okay? No, it ain't okay. <laughs> right, right. Get your like, ass out of I'm here. Like, I'm still waiting for what I, was, what I asked you for 10, 15 minutes ago. But no. And, and, and back on the cabbie tip, let me tell you, there's a lot of great cab drivers out there. You know, a lot of them. But if you're a cab driver out there and, and you're listening to this show, tell me why it is a federal offense for me to play with, uh, pay with my uh, debit card. Why, why, why do you look at me as if I don't have real money that I'm giving to you? You know, maybe why, couldn't agree more. Why do you act as if now? Now I know the machine; they get taxed for the machine, yeah, and they don't get and they don't get the the money tip. But you know what? You know how much business you're going to lose if you do that. That's why I love New York. Every cab in New York is set up where you, you can use a credit card and stop lying. Who's, who's carrying that type of cash? Right. On them anymore, right? Yeah, in I most got, places, cash is frowned upon. I got that the other day. The man, man, looked at me got like I was because you had a debit something. card. Yeah, I was like, I don't carry cash, man. Like, why don't you carry twenty dollars? I'm like, because I don't. Now what? The best is <laughs> the best is one day I didn't have any cash on me, and I came here to the Prudential Plaza, and it was eight bucks, right? So the guy says my card doesn't, uh, my my machine doesn't work, and it's clearly working. It's beeping. It's doing all the things, giving you all the it's commercials. It's printing out a receipt. Right. It's telling you, touch me if you want to pay for this with the car. Like, cool, free ride, so, right? So I go, I go, okay. No, no. I go, okay, wait right here. I'm going to go in and get my uh, get, get some cash for you. He goes, oh, okay, i wait. You must leave something. I'm like, all right, my man. I'm not going to ditch out on an $8 ride. Left my bag, came back. I gave him a $10 bill. And I asked him for a dollar back. He goes, you make me wait this time, and, and you ask for a dollar back, you making me lose business. I said, you know what? How about you give me $2 back now? Playboy. You know, for real. See, I love good service. I am the, If you give me good service, I'm, I'm liable to marry your ass. Look, I, I've been, you know I, I, mean? I can attest that because on the occasions that I will go out drinking, I will go out drinking with Jay. And you do. You're you're a guy that you'll do bottle service. You'll do hey, the whole nine. If good service. If you give me good service, I can't wait to give you my money because I feel like you care that I have a decent time or I have an enjoyable experience. That's all I need. You know, I'm already paying. Everybody's paying the same amount no matter what. Then the service comes into play. Then you get more money. I don't understand how it's such a, you know, all these bartenders and waitresses and, and, and God bless you out there if you're out there working hard and you're giving people good service. But wh- how do you come to that job with a bad attitude? How do you come to uh, being a cab driver and uh, starting your shift with a bad attitude? What are you doing? I, did you, did you should just quit that day. That's the day you should say, you know what? I don't need I'm to be in the car. I'm not going to make any money today. I should stay home and, you know, eat my, you know, smelly food at the crib. <laughs> Or, you know what I'm saying, not bathe for two days at home. Don't put me through that. By the way, this is the other thing, too. If I tell you to put, turn the windows down, pull, uh, you know, pull the windows down or, or, or put them up, do that. Don't, don't give me a, 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 you know, a, a tisk or a, a, an attitude reply because, you know what, I'm either telling you to do this because your cab stinks, you know, and you need to air it out a little bit, or it's cold outside. Pull them up. Yeah. You know, it's, hey, listen. You're my you're my driver for the next five ten minutes. You know what you know what I want. That's how I feel. And yeah, I'm sorry I, if you're a cabbie out there. And I'm true. offending you. It's true, and I don't want anyone. The next time that I am in a cab, I know how to get to my house. <laughs> so if I tell yeah, you the way to go, that's the problem too. To get to my house, that's the problem. That's the way you. They should get go. angry at you. You know we have all this uh, lo- uh, upper whacker. See, I take upper whacker. So. We have all this upper whacker construction going on, and they, I tell them, "Hey, Lake and Stetson, get to Lake and Stetson, but take Wacker around Lake because the traffic backs up because of all the detours." God tells me, "No, no, no, Wacker's closed off." I'm like, "My man, take this every single day." All right, well, I'll show you. And then we get to Wacker, and I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm waiting for my, "Oh, you're all right, buddy." I hit him on the tip. You know, don't give me grief for the first two, three minutes of my, but you know, hey, it sounds like I'm griping, I'm bitching, I'm not, I understand all you guys out there and all you ladies out there have hard jobs when it comes to dealing with people that you don't know every single time to get some money, so, you know, much, much, much props to you. Hey, and turn your radio to what I want to hear and stop talking to that dude in the phone. This is the problem too. Stop with the anytime minutes. Get off the damn phone. Every cab driver is on the phone from the time I get into a cab to the time I get out of the cab. Who is he talking to? I don't know. 
I, you know, who I had that same problem. Do you have the, a calling all, card? The whole way to Hyde Park. Stop talking to people. I don't want to hear your conversation. Why are you talking in clicks? For, first, that's the thing, too. If you're talking in a foreign language, I feel like you're making fun of me. I'm you're, that insecure. You're mocking me. Yeah, I'm I, with you on I, that, Jay. I, 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 stop talking in a foreign language. This is America. Speak English. You know, and if you don't speak English, don't talk while I'm in the car. <laughs> and get out of the country while you're in it. <laughs> I know I sound like that, but it is what it is. Hey, and see, here, here's, <laughs> here's a little dirty secret that, 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 that our, our brothers don't know. The dirty secret is that when it comes to Africans, oh, the way that they look at black Americans... Oh. You're the worst. You're it's, the scum of the it's earth. It's not good. You're the scum of the earth. You, it's not good. You have you've had it easy all your life, and 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 now you're riding in my cab. Right. <laughs> yeah, you you may be a Nigerian prince, by the way, <laughs> but I've had it good my whole life. <laughs> but but I'm just telling you that that it's it's more likely. My experience has been. Let me qualify. My experience has been that if we jump into a, a cab especially with a west african <laughs> now now we're really going to break it down jump into a cab with a west african they're more likely to be nicer to zach or tanny oh, or b mac oh, than me you or herb jay oh, you could jump on their back <laughs> those two guys <laughs> you know what I'm saying? take me to take me to state and lex lakes and states okay <laughs> now nah, us you get looked down on, you go, you know, you know, it's, oh, the, the best is I got into a cab the other day. A guy, a guy had the nerve to say to me, wow, pretty late in the day for you to be going to work, huh? Wow. Like, like well, um, sorry, I don't have a job that keeps me in a car for 12 hours, but you know, I'll try to figure that out next time I make career day. That's unbelievable. You know, it's just, you know, just be a nice cab driver. The guy that I used to love and I used to actually ask for personally. Was my guy, Sherm. He, the, if you ever see him downtown, he has the American flag on his antenna. Okay. He has his car is always decorated. Is that the one with the lights and yes. everything? His car is always decorated, whatever the holiday is. So now I'm sure there's Easter stuff in his cab. His cab always smells good. There's mints and gum and everything hanging off the back flap. He's got his is is there's a fan in there during the summer if you're too hot. There's a mirror in there. He rides around. He cleans up on New Year's Eve. I promise you. This is the guy to look for and ask for. You know, but I'm not in Hyde Park anymore, so I don't. He's not in my area. I used to call him when I was late to the to the station every once in a while. I call him. They'd be like, "Well, yeah, you still over there? I'll be over there in five minutes." Bam, in there and out of there. You'd have to hear a whole bunch of stuff on the way, but it's funny stuff. He'd yeah. be talking about the Cubs or the Bears. That's fine. Yeah, entertain me a little bit, but just just have a clean cab. Get me there like you're trying to get somebody you're not taking money from there. You know right. what I mean? These guys, these guys do seven miles an hour down the block like it's summertime, and they got you know a fresh shine on the car and want girls to see it. I'm trying to get somewhere, homie. I'm obviously in a cab because I'm late. You know. When I got back from Arizona, I jumped in a cab, and you know that's a great fare. O'Hare to Hyde Park. Oh, definitely. That, definitely. That, I mean, that's a that's, that's a fifty dollar yeah, fare. Definitely. And this dude took a, his white guy, his old younger white guy, and he was driving like. Like I was his dude, <laughs> trying to get you there. He, he was doing eighty five on the Kennedy. <laughs> I was like, "You are my guy." Try to get you there. And and when when it came time, I was like, "Here it is. Here it is. Here's a big tip because you got me home in the middle of rush hour traffic in yeah. thirty five minutes. Definitely, man. That's what I'm talking about. For, so moral of the story, Herb, you pay for good service. Oh, so man, does, did that for me, which I have had on a cab. Uh huh. Man, I'll hook so, them up. So you're $2. good with cabs. Two dollars. You're good with cabs. You no, just no, 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 you're no, no. You don't mess with waitresses I, I and waiters. No, and waiters. if you go above and beyond like that, okay, I would love to spend some money on you. Right, right. Hey, women, take heed. Nine percent. Yeah, but right. if you're just delivering my pizza on time, congratulations. I, I told Here's you, two dollars. You were, I, Herb, you were there for the story I told. Uh, maybe Herbie wasn't there. B Mac, you might have been here for that. And I'm sure Tanny was. I had a, a pizza delivery there. You'll, I'm sure you know the place, Jay, because it was down the street from your old apartment in High Park on 53rd Street. I ordered a pizza from them, had it delivered to my place. It was, it was a playoff. It was NFL playoffs, so it's cold outside, mm -hmm. and I'm just chilling in the crib. I just wanted a pizza. This son of a, he called and said that the buzzer on my front Isn't gate working. wasn't working, right. so I needed to come down and get the pizza. And I was like, "That's a no go." 
I That's said, a no-go for me. I, well, what, what was crazy is that I, I already... Got, I, ha- I've had that happen, too. I already had someone in the house mm-hmm. who had just used the gate yeah. a little bit before. Right. So I knew it worked. 